Okay, what I'm going to be showing you is how you can create your own map in golf with your friends. So the first thing you need to do is select offline and then enter the level editor. And once you select the level editor, it'll take a moment to load and bring you right here. Um, it's letting us know up front there might be a few bugs and little glitches in it. And there are, but we're going to work through that. Okay, when we first enter into the editor, we enter into a place that looks like this. Now, to, in order to look around like this, what we need to do is we need to click the right mouse button, and then we can move the mouse around, and it makes it look like we're looking our head. We can twist and turn. The letters on the keyboard, W, A, S, D, help us strafe around and when we combine that with clicking down on the right mouse button we can look around and go anywhere. There's a limited amount of space that we can go to and we can see this fence as our limitation. So whatever you want to do as far as where you want to start to build your course you can move to that area. If you don't want to see this fence anywhere you can head towards the middle. Uh, if you're okay with the fence being there start towards the fence and work out. Now to start building your course you're going to want to make sure that uh, this item, a little T with a golf course, is selected. And then we have different golf course pieces that we can place down. Um, just as a simple one, here we go. I'll take this and I'll place it down. To place it, all I have to do is left click and it drops it down. If I want a different piece, I can pick a different piece. We'll pick a hole. Place it right next to it do the same thing. Now we have two next to each other. Now one thing that you'll notice is this little box right here. Anytime we pick a piece we get information about the piece that we're placing. Uh, by default it is set to snap which means on every um, square, one square piece, it snaps in place. You can see I can't move it in between. If I take snap off now it's really smooth. Now I can get it anywhere. As soon as I place it down and then click it again, it tells me what the um, position of this piece is. You can see it's not snapped directly into place. It's 180.13, 200.147. Now if we want to make it nice and even, we'll snap it back. I'll move this again. There we go, now it's exact. Uh, once we place an item, if we want to move an item, we have to select uh, the move option. And by clicking on it, we can move it, we can rotate it, or we can resize it. We're going to start with moving. We can move it across three axes. We can move it side to side by clicking on that arrow. Move it across with this arrow, and up and down with this arrow. We can also rotate it. So there's different ways to rotate. We can rotate it around here, rotate it this way, and any which way. Now what I would recommend doing is set a snap rotation. I like to sna uh, snap it to 15 degrees. What that will mean is it will only rotate like this. 15 degrees gives us the ability to rotate to 45, to 90, to 180. All of the main angles without being awkward. Once we have our our course and we like it, um, we might want to build walls for the course to make sure the ball can't bounce out. And to do that we have to flip our type over here. By default we've been working on um, the course type. Now we want our objects and walls type. To set our corners, we probably want this uh, corner piece. Now there's a, a, a secret that we can do to help build the walls with this. If we hold shift at the same time as placing down one of these corners, it'll build a wall with us. And we can, I'm still holding down shift, still holding shift, still holding shift, still holding, there we go. So now I just quickly created a wall with these four posts around the course so the ball can't easily go off. Now what I could do, if I wanted to, here let me get off this selection piece, uh, if I wanted to remove it so it could go out of bounds, I can just delete one of these, but the wall that it created with it is still here. I can delete this, anything I want. 
and just leave the remaining pieces. To place a ball at this bottom piece where we normally had the T selected, we're going to go to this ball drop. I'm going to take our ball, place it down where we want it, and it'll say spawn one for the first time we do it. After we place our ball down, we can click the ball, we can decide if we want it to be facing a different direction, uh, we can adjust its height, up and down, we could even decide to try to change the size of the ball, I won't do that, I've never tried that. Um, but the next thing we need to do is we need to place the whole flag. So these are our flag options. These are all, all the different things that can be placed that will end uh, the level and move us to the next spawn. Uh, so I'm just I like to choose a simple flag, place it down. Now you can see this yellow part is sticking up. We don't want it to stick up above the course. As soon as the ball touches this yellow, uh, the hole's over. So I'm going to drop it down. And then what we can do is we can just make sure that the yellow is inside there. Uh, we can move our camera up and down. Up will be spacebar, down will be control, and we can see uh, our hole in the hole. So that looks good. As soon as the ball falls in this cup, it hits this yellow and it'll move it on to the next hole. So I'm going to build one more hole for us. Now if you don't like the standard set of options across here, uh, when we click on this T, uh, we can change the theme. And there's a bunch of different themes. Mostly they're the same with just different stylistic choices, but some of them have a little different options as well. In this case I'll just pick this gray theme. Okay. And now we need to build our, well, I guess I'm going to add another piece here. I need to add our hole. You can see it's kind of messed up because it's actually touching the grass. We don't want that, so I'll lift everything up. Okay. Now I'm going to add walls. Now the little trick that I showed you to quickly build uh, walls is not available in any other theme other than the forest theme. So you want to click the forest and then click our walls here. Now if we wanted to build other walls and other themes, we can do that, we just can't do that quick tip. We'd have to place each wall individual, like place it, rotate it, size it, and so forth. But to make it quicker, I think this wall's fine. I don't care what theme it's a part of. Now the other thing you'll notice is this um, post is not tall enough given our settings. So I'm gonna show you the, uh, the resize tool. I talked about it briefly. So once we put it here, we can stretch this, and it'll increase the size. And now I'm going to adjust the height of this. Looks like I made it maybe a little larger than I needed. I can drop it down a little bit. Okay, I like this. And I'm holding shift. And I'm still holding shift. The arrows and we can do that at the same time. Okay. So finally to set this one off I'm going to want to set my ball and spawn. So I'll switch to here, my ball spawn. Now this one is actually a little too low, so I'm going to have to raise it up. Then I need to add my flag. This one's too high, I need to drop it down there. And if there's anything else I want to add to this course to flare it up, um, we can look at some of those options as well. Uh, to add a few other options, we have this gear option, which has movable pieces. These are all pieces that move, so if I wanted to add 
uh, this little hockey guy. I can click on him. We can see him over here. I probably want to raise him up. Click him, push him down. And I can move him where I want. Uh, in this corner, I might want a little ricochet piece. Stationary little pieces like that are going to appear uh, in this section right here. So I want to raise this one up, move it over, and then I'm going to want to rotate it. I'll click the rotate. There we have that now. Uh, and then we have this tree all the way over to the side. These are stationary pieces that maybe aren't necessarily designed to be as part of the course. They're typically listed as out of bounds, but if we want to decorate the backgrounds, we can drop something like this down. I probably want this touching the ground. So this is just a decoration piece. Now you actually can put these on your course. Typically, if the ball lands on one of these items, though, and stays there, it'll be counted as out of bounds. So keep that in mind. Uh, but you can put this down, these down as items. Uh, they're especially good as obstacles where the ball wouldn't really land on top of it. It's just something that gets in the way. Like if I wanted this uh, flower, I could put this flower. And the ball's probably not going to land here and get stuck on here, but I could put this down just to be in the way. And that'll work fine. Once you're done building out all your uh, courses, and you can have up to 18 spawns, that's the max, um, and you can do this beforehand, you can test your course. Uh, so to hit this play button and then hit test, and now you'll have a chance to test your course and make sure it behaves the way you want it. And I'll just roll through. And if you like it, you can move on to the next step of finalizing. So to do that, you hit escape on your keyboard and you have a few more options here. You can change the way the sky looks. And you can change the music. And you can adjust what the, the pars are on each of the holes. And then you can save your map. Now, if you wanted to actually publish it, there's a couple other steps you need to do. You need to go back to this, and you need to add two cameras. One will be the picture for the workshop, and one will be the loading screen picture. So we just place where we want that to be, and we can use the same tools. Lift, rotate, Here's the loading screen camera. This will be what the users see upon loading. And at this point, you can publish. So you hit the save button to publish, and you hit this publish button, and then this will send it uh, to the workshop and people can download and play on your map.